From the last segment, you saw that that fill valve needs to be replaced. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step procedures on how to replace that valve, what it's going to entail. You can see the new part over there in the box. I'll show you all the parts in the box and what they do, where they go, and also the tools that we're going to use on that project. So hang in there and we'll get started. Alright, for today's project we're going to use the following items. We've got our new fill valve. We'll go through all the parts and everything that are in the box on that. The channel locks. We'll show you what we're going to do with those. The wire snips. That's what I use and I'll show you how. Of course, I always use a sponge for soaking up water. I'll go through the steps on everything with that as well. So stay tuned. Alright, first thing we want to do on this particular project is to turn the water off to the tank. We're turning it to the right and then we want to flush the toilet, let all the water out of the tank. Okay, what I like to do on this is to get any of the unnecessary parts out of the way. First thing I want to do is unscrew the ball cock. Get it out of the way. Take the fill tube off. And while you're at it, replace your flapper ball. Save yourself a lot of trouble down the line. Alright, now we're good to go. Earlier I showed you the parts that we were going to use and all the tools. Here's my trusty sponge. This is the fastest way to remove any excess water that's left in the tank. Okay, here's our new fill valve, valve, fill tube. This piece is going to go into the fill tube. This attaches to this, the other end to this knot right there. This is your gasket. Take the center piece out and install it on here. Raise this nut or this key. And you're going to adjust this to according to how tall your tank is. You can do it now or you can wait till you get it in the tank. Once you get it in there, you want to push that back down. These parts here are the new nut for going on here. This is a fill valve nut or a fill line nut, but you probably won't be using that. You'll use your existing fill line. So these parts you can discard. Okay, we're going to take the old one out and then start the procedure of putting the new one in. Okay, first thing we want to do is remove this nut for the fill line. Now, what I prefer to do on this job is to take my sponge and put it underneath because you will get some water on that. And then proceed to unscrew that. Like I said, any water that's left in this fill line, you will get some leakage. That's what your sponge is for. Now what we're going to do is remove this nut, which is holding the fill valve in. Alright, now we're ready to pull the old valve out. 
Okay, let's pull this valve out. Grab your new valve. You've already got your gasket on it. The top of this should be just below the top of your top of the tank. So we can adjust that. The nut that came with it, you can put it on the bottom, or the one that came off the old valve, you can use it. All right. Then you want to get your channel locked and secure that nut. You don't have to over tighten it, but you do want to snug it up. Also now, go ahead and put your fill line back on in reverse of what you did when you took it off. Fill line, you can just thumb tighten it. Fill tube, put it on this nipple, a little plastic piece that goes on your fill tube here, slip it over like so. This is the point you want to measure this tube, where you're going to cut it. And I said I brought my wire cutters for a reason, I like to use it to cut these tubes. Snip, you're done. Quick, easy. Slip that over the, that nipple. And that's that. We'll put the flapper ball on next. Okay, with the flapper ball, we want to adjust our chain length. You don't want to just put it in there chain as is without checking it to make sure that when you flush this that it doesn't if it doesn't pull that flapper all the way up it's going to get a short flush and it's not going to work properly with this one it's five links so we'll adjust it up five and then attach it to our handle our lever two lengths of chain dangling on the end of that. That should be plenty to get a good flush. It should lift that flapper ball up pretty good. Alright, let's fill it up and check for leaks. As you can see, this is not a very difficult job to tackle, and uh, I hope that it's going to help you out. In the meantime, my name is Dan Giles. This is How to Fix It, and I'll see you next time.